YouTube family and friends. I have something that I need to show you today about my orchids. Uh, I had an orchid haul yesterday from uh, my favorite store, Lowe's. Um, orchid pots that are on sale, which is half price. So I bought a bunch of them because I have a lot of orchids that needs to be repot, okay? Okay, you guys, so the uh, flower pots that I was telling you about are orchid pots. That's my favorite, favorite uh, pot for my orchids is this, these kind. So I bought 10 of them yesterday and they're all half price. And originally, I believe they were $8 and I got it all for uh, really cheap for, well, anyway, half price. So I bought 10 of them, see? And then they run out this kind. This is the one that I collect. Um, they run out, so I had to get this kind right here. This is a different one. It got wet because I just water my yard. And um, and here's the other color. It's not my favorite, but you know what? It works. My orchids doesn't care. Actually, they love that kind. So I got 10 of them. And so here's the haul that I've got. There's I bought six orchids yesterday. And um, this one. So Phalaenopsis, as you can tell, not a, not a lot of them have... Um, have a tag so um, I usually lose them or they don't have it when I buy them so there's only two that have tags in here and that one right there too so uh, this one is pretty cool the reason is because look at that that's different anyway the original price for these um, is 1998 Okay, see that 1998 and then it went down to nine dollars 95 cents so you know me you know when I go shopping like I said on my previous video I talked to the manager directly right and so I asked since they are in great condition I did not ask for cheaper than five dollars so I said can I have them for five bucks and guess what they give it to me so lo and behold you know there's such a nice people in here they didn't want to know I mean they don't know what to do with it so uh, they're just getting ready to uh, uh, dispose of it and I said no I'll buy it and then I asked for the price that I wanted so anyway that's what that is and this is the one that's really pretty right here that's my favorite design and uh, this one is not too bad I like that too and uh, this one is the same as that one so uh, you know uh, next year when it start blooming or earlier I'm not gonna remember the color of these plants so I don't even know right so anyway look at that there is I don't know if that is a keiki or if that is a um, a spike, so I don't know what's that gonna be. I think I'm thinking that might be a uh, a secondary bloom. And look at on the other one too. So see that right there. Uh, that's getting ready to whatever what's gonna happen on that one. And uh, that's pretty cool. It's something that's starting already, and I haven't even. Uh, looks like there's another one in here that's gonna be starting pretty soon. Show you that one right there so anyway there's uh, probably a spike right here and then another one right there see that that's pretty cool so this one is definitely I'm gonna be cutting it down here and put um, cinnamon after that and in here really there's nothing going on with this so I probably cut this one Oh, probably up to here and save the rest so they look really really healthy and it's got some really healthy roots air roots right here and look at all that roots right there I haven't even checked I just now doing it and this one really is different growth did you see that that's really different I do have that kind of orchids but it's smaller and look it looks like I don't know looks different but anyway, and here's another one. And this one here, let's see. I'm not sure if this is gonna live, but I said that before too, because the last haul I got, all of them lived, none of them died. And actually, each one of them are growing a new leaf. So I'm gonna do an update on that one. But this one has a couple bloom um, right here. That's really, really gorgeous bloom, look at that. Uh, and that's supposed to be, but it's not but so who knows you know like on these who knows what color that's gonna be but it see that's the dry flower and so anyway and that's what i have today for you 
and then I have a couple more that I need to show you that I bought yesterday. But uh, there are different types of orchids. There, I believe they're on cedium. I'm gonna bring that out here in a few minutes. But first, I have another one that I need to show you. I uh, remember when I did my video about all my orchids that have keikis on it. Well, this this is one of them. And remember that one right there, that orchids right there that was growing. Uh, that's a keiki. And I noticed that there's another keiki right here. Now, how cool is that? How many keikis can a plant, an orchid grow? I mean, I understand the uh, Dendrobium no nobili. They can do mul multiple uh, keikis, but this one for Phalaenopsis. Now, look. See, it's dehydrated. I tried everything I could, but this new leaves are nice, and there's another new leaf right here, uh, are healthy. But two cakes in one plant, this and that, wow. This poor plant, and it's got a new leaf right there. This is a miniature fowl. It has always been dry, and I don't know why it's dry and it's moist in there using on the sphagnum moss. So anyway, I'm gonna take care of this one, uh, which is, Maybe I need, I don't know, I'll put it right where the sun is. Oh no, I mean where, um, so, I don't know, I'm not sure. Well, well, I've been putting it right on a lot of lights window. Maybe it's too bright, so I may have to put it in a little bit of shady area. And so this one right here, look at that. Um, this is a miniature fowl. And this one is drying up. Oh, now it's come up. Oh, good. Um, this one has a spike. Look how tiny these leaves and then they become bigger. And there's a lot of roots in there, see? But I think that's a spike, right? Right there? It looks like a spike. See? Yeah, it is a spike. So it's gonna create a flower. Good. Here's the name, Blackberry. Leonor. Leonor Blackberry. Cool. Anyway, that's a lot of small roots in there. So I have another one and this one right here it's in bloom and this is a miniature fowl but look at this one right here it curled up i don't know why it curled up or it just curled up in there i don't know if it's a cakey or if it's a bloom see that let me see brighter yeah right there see i don't know if that is a cakey or if that is um a spike and look at this in the middle right here. Is that a cakey? Oh my gosh. Why is it that somebody mentioned something that I, my orchids are a cakey factory? <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> I, I've never thought of that, but it's kind of true because I have. Look at that. I don't know if that is a cakey or not. That's really crazy. <laughs> See that? I don't understand. Yeah. Anyway, but that one really bothers me right there because I don't know what that is. See, right there. This one here. That one. It looks like it's, I believe, it's either a keiki that's uh, curled. It didn't get a chance to grow or it's a bloom. It didn't get a chance to, blow, to, to bloom. But this is almost done blooming anyway. And it's really, really a pretty flower. Look at that. And, um... It looks like it got curled up in there. See if I can, uh, yeah, that one right there need to be loose. But if I touch it, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let the mother nature takes over because I don't wanna do that. Cause this used to be a bloom. There, there was a two bloom, this one and that one, but this one dried out. And so there's no bloom. Um, this one just dried out, I need to cut it. So anyway, that one, it looks like it's a curled up, either a cakey or, uh, or a, uh, spike who knows but anyway so I'm gonna show you my um the orchids mix that I use it's orchid mix uh, Gildner orchids and it's a coarse grade and what I do is I put this in a big bucket wash it off and get rid of the little uh, fine uh, fine mix in there I don't like the fine mix I like the bigger mix and then that's what I do and so I mix them up with a little bit of sphagnum moss and then I put it in a pot and that's what I do I put a little bit of a lava rock or a, what do you call that rocks it's a river rock or a growing rocks at the bottom of on the base of the pot before I put the mix in there and then plant my flower so here's the moss that I was talking about uh, this is the only moss that I use 
right there premium grade orchid moss Lowe's and uh, Home Depot sells them so um, so if you're looking for it try Lowe's and um, try Lowe's and um, Oh, Home Depot, and it's really cool. This is the only moss that my orchids like that I've been growing my orchid for the last five years And this is the only thing that I use. So anyway, that's what that is and uh, This one also the fertilizer that I use because somebody asked me what fertilizer do I use? Here's the fertilizer that I use miracle grow uh, And it's water soluble um, it says that one four teaspoon of miracle Grow water soluble orchid food for every gallon of water and apply every two weeks now see i don't do it um active growth periods every four weeks during rest periods so make sure that if you buy this you make sure that you follow the instruction follow it carefully because we don't i don't want your orchids to uh, burn or anything but anyway the last time i um i don't fertilize my orchids a lot of times uh, the last time I fertilized my orchids it's probably oh my gosh probably like last March or uh, April I haven't fertilized them lately because there's a lot of them are in bloom and I don't need to do that but I'm gonna wait until they're all done blooming and then I'm gonna start fertilizing them again so it's just right here orchid food 30 10 10 silver orchid so anyway yeah this is what I use that's the only thing that I use. I also buy the Miracle Grow spray, the plant food. I also buy that. I only spray that to the orchids that are struggling. But if anything that's healthy, like this one, I would put um, plant food in there. The spray that I bought, the Miracle Grow, I would put a plant food in there. But the rest of them, I don't bother. Uh, it's up to you. But, you know, you just have to use your own judgment because that's what I have to do. My orchids are healthy enough that they don't need fertilizer all the time. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Don't forget to click likes and subscribe. Be very blessed. God bless. Take care of yourself. Life is too short. Enjoy every moment of it. Love you guys.